Good people, so our goal for this last year was to really open our minds about the mechanical keyboard space, basically move away from looking at your traditional gaming keyboards and really zero in on the unconventional and unique. So here's our list of some of the coolest keyboards on the internet that we could find. If you're planning on space explorations, the IQ Unix L80 Cosmic Traveler is seriously impressive. This 80% keyboard layout has been around for a really long time with many different colorways, and that's what makes this one so special. The attention to detail on the whole body to match a specific color theme is really gorgeous. The unconventional height of the frame is actually um, very comfortable to type on with a lot of weight inside the body too for excellent stability while on a desktop. The keycap colorway on here is pretty sweet. The Cosmic Traveler arrow keys, the all blue accent keys for the larger stuff have all that unique art style that does not repeat anywhere else. And the entire airflow with those specific space elements that unfortunately does not reflect any of the secondary functionality like all your media controls, the full on RGB lighting customization that you can do with the right side and also all the modes on the keyboard. So you will need to refer to the manual to check out what is what. It's pretty handy to have Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz wireless and wired modes, all of which have worked flawlessly once I finally figured out how to actually switch between them. And it even comes with spare Mac keycaps for the standard bottom row because it's both Mac and PC friendly. The best part of the L80 is the typing experience. The stabs here come pre-lubed and switch options are plenty. If you're into linear switches, I would highly recommend the TTC Gold Pink because they feel so awesome, so smooth, and they sound great. However, I will say they put way too much lube on my spacebar stabilizers, so it gets stuck once in a while, which is really unfortunate because otherwise the keyboard is pretty flawless. My next keyboard is a bit different. This one they claim to be the most comfortable keyboard on the planet. I did not see that coming, just like you did not expect this message from our sponsor. You want performance, but what about portability? Well, that's where the new Razer Blade 15 comes into the equation. It harnesses NVIDIA's latest GeForce RTX 30 series laptop GPUs up to an RTX 3080, mind you. And with that kind of power, you can experience the best visuals and lowest latencies in gaming, thanks to ray tracing and all the hard work that the new RT cores, tensor cores, and AI enhancements perform behind the scenes. Oh, and did I mention the beautiful and fast display flavors that Razer offers, ranging from Full HD 360 Hertz up to 4K OLED. And all of this hardware goodness is wrapped in an anodized matte black chassis and with their new anti-smudge coating it won't show fingerprints check out the new razor blade 15 down below now generally my experience with ergonomic keyboards in the past has not always been positive but the latest truly ergonomic is probably as close as i would like to use in this space the angular sections keep my wrists in line with the text which has definitely relieved some of the wrist pain that i've been having on my right forearm you know probably due to all the awesome editing am i right to be honest, not worth it. But everything else about this keyboard feels kind of foreign, like the entire mid section is where you'll find backspace and delete, the large vertical enter key and the extra shift, plus all the cut, paste, copy and undo shortcuts that are pretty easy to learn. The white lighting is clean with nine zones and having a dedicated F row on the top is super nice for this size. I appreciate the compact form factor that is smaller than your standard TKL keyboard. The built-in wrist rest is pretty firm and helps to level the arm posture, but you will need to have some serious time to adjust and to retrain the finger memory if you're after something like this for daily use. I like the cable routing uh, in the back so you can route it in either direction. The optical switch options on here are dust and water resistant for excellent durability over long term. And they're also hot swappable, but only with Gatoron or the Outamel switches. So keep that in mind. Now, despite the better comfort of the keyboard for my wrists and typing posture, my ears cannot unhear the constant pinging inside the body. It might be the most comfortable keyboard on the planet for some people, but it's also very close to sounding the worst.
For low profile lovers, the new Vistles LP85 is pretty legit. It's trying to eat some of that market share from the Apple Magic Keyboard while being infinitely more fun because of RGB. But for real, having those centered characters and the LED right underneath means you get awesome vibrancy and uniformity throughout. Just, uh, you know, ignore the caps lock and the command or the larger keys and you'll be fine. There's absolutely no light leak behind the keycap and a proper white color too, which is hard to get with RGB illumination. So the keyboard is gorgeous, the font is clean and it will match your Apple or Windows setup no problem with both wired and Bluetooth wireless operation that you can switch between with this button at the back and charge with USB-C. The compact nature of the 75% layout is appealing with those really nice curved edges and properly spaced out keycaps, plus the aluminum body has surprising amount of weight to it, so it'll give stability while this thing is on your desk. The optical clicky switches are not my favorite since I don't really like clickies for typing, but they have a light crisp and a cushion bottoming out uh, making for a pleasant sound profile and just really comfortable for long typing sessions. I would seriously consider using this if they offered a linear mechanical version of this because Clicky is not my thing. Moving into the quack territory, let's appreciate the new Ducky 1-3 series, especially the SF Yellow. The color alone is enough to justify your support for Ducky as they're one of the very few mass brands to do crazy colorways like this. Plus, always you gotta love me a spare set of accent keycaps to swap out once in a while and give your keyboard a little fresh uplift. The two most important things on the 1.3 keyboards are the now hot swappable switches, so you can populate your own favorite switches in the future. This is a big deal to have hot swap on such a popular keyboard series. The second most important factor are all the proper basics covered, like quality PBT keycaps with smooth, pleasant texture, a removable color matched USB-C cable, dual angle feet at the bottom, driverless operation for everything you wanna do with the keyboard, uh, proper high quality stabs, and also, exclusive cherry clear switches that feel incredible if you're into tactile. They're slightly heavier versions of MX Browns and bottom out just beautifully. The really pleasant sound is also thanks to a foam layer in the middle, and I call it the moist maker. Speaking of moist, my most pleasant fingertip experience to date comes with my custom Mode 65. And my gosh, this thing is so beautiful and so, so expensive. First, you accessorize the base through different materials and color options. It looks incredible with matching bottom and rear magnet plate, but assembling it with reflex linear switches lubed with Crytox 205G0 lube and Duroc V2 stabs, now we have a proper moist maker as soon as you make contact. The typing experience is properly thonky, and this is a keyboard I will move continents with. Now for a lot less money, but still with a gasket mount keyboard and a fantastic aluminum frame, we have the Nova 65 by Odin Gaming. This is their very first keyboard and it's a very cool addition to the custom space because of the Duroc V2 stabs, although they are dry, so you will shoot 100% lube them yourself with hot swap switches and that PCB suspension that results in really satisfying bottoming out effect and feeling. The transparent polycar plate underneath is meant to reveal the underglow illumination, but it's still pretty useless as the perimeter visibility when it's on your desk is almost nothing. But where this keyboard shines is with some care, nice switches and your favorite 65% keycap set to sound super high end while keeping the bank account 
fairly full. My last honorable mention is this Shirky Hanzo 002, a very different but unique colorway design to bring back some fun into your desk. It's intentionally different to stand out from all the boring black keyboard rectangles with a top plate that you can actually remove to have this more exposed look. The dual knobs have volume and illumination functionality, but this is my second favorite keyboard to use on a daily basis because of the Vermilo EC V2 switches and properly handled stabs to really amplify the experience and it just sounds so wonderful. Lastly, this keyboard has Bluetooth functionality and of course USB-C connection. And yeah, this thing is going to be traveling with me just like Mode 65, you know, little friends. And so our journey has only just begun to look for the coolest keyboards on the internet. If you see one, you know who to contact. Thank you very much. Make sure to check out this other relevant content, subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next video.